Welcome back to my channel. I got plenty of views of my previous videos about target practice and about how to properly use the rope cocker on my Mankung XB58. If you are interested, you'll find the links in the description. Today, to answer some questions I received, I will show you how to easily and safely decock a 200 pounds crossbow simply using the same rope cocker you normally use to cock it. As you know, this is the cocker. A rope, two T-handle and two hooks with pulleys. Before we start, let's take a look at the switches of the trigger mechanism. As you can see in this photo, the crossbow is cocked and the bolt is on the rail against the string, pushing up the anti-dry fire switch so the safety catch, now in safe, can be pushed forward in fire position and then the trigger can be pulled. In this photo, the crossbow is still cocked, but the bolt has been removed. The hunt is over and we have to decock the crossbow. The anti-dry fire switch is in the lower position, so the safety catch, now in safe position, cannot be pushed forward in fire position, and the trigger cannot be pulled. To decock your crossbow, you need to manually move up the anti-dry fire switch, move the safety catch forward in fire position, and then pull the trigger. Now you have all the information needed to decock your crossbow. First of all, take uh, the rope cocker and move uh, uh, the left hook at the end of the cocker against the T-handle and hook it to the left side of the crossbow string. Then pass the rope in the notch of the stock and hook uh, the right hook on the other side of the crossbow string. Now you have all the length of the cocker on your right side. Put the cocker in tension, pulling it up with your right hand. Push the anti-dry fire switch in the upper position with your left hand index finger and push the safety forward in the fire position with your thumb. Apply some more tension at the cocker, pulling it up with your right hand. Then, slowly and gently, pull the trigger with your left hand index finger. The crossbow string is released and all you have to do is slowly let it down with your right hand. And your crossbow is now decocked. Take a look at the procedure from the right side. Hook the left hook. Pass the rope in the notch. Hook the right hook. Apply tension. Push the anti-dry fire switch and remove the safety. Pull the trigger and slowly decock your crossbow. Ok, you want a closer view, right? This is the safety and the anti-dry fire switch. Now you know the drill. Left hook. Notch. Right hook. Tension, anti-dry fire and safety, trigger and the cocking.
Here you can see clearly that I push up the anti-dry fire switch with my index finger and forward the safety catch with the thumb. Now I can pull the trigger and the cock the crossbow. Note that it is very important to apply a good tension to the rope before pulling the trigger. Following this procedure you will be able to decock it safely both for you and your crossbow. At first sight it could seem complicated, but I promise that after a few times you will be able to decock your crossbow without even thinking. One last time. If you want to support the channel, be sure to subscribe and like for more crossbow videos. That's all I have for you today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always, thank you for watching.